Hi, I'm Andrew Edelston. I work at NVIDIA and we're here at CES 2013 and this is Project Shield. Uh, this is NVIDIA's uh, latest uh, Android gaming device. It's, as you can see, it, it, it looks like a controller and uh, it's got uh, full circuitry inside so it's actually an Android device. And I'm just taking on a little tour of that now. So we start, we have the, the shield itself at the front. When we pick it up and hold it, it fits very nicely in the hands. It's been uh, beautifully designed to, to be comfortable uh, and, uh, and well balanced. As we look around, we have uh, standard ports on the back, uh, micro HDMI, uh, micro USB slot, and also a micro SD for extra storage, and then finally a, a headphone jack there. Uh, the triggers and uh, shoulder buttons are there, just like you would see on a, a standard uh, sort of traditional controller. And then when we open it up, on the inside we have uh, D-pad, thumbsticks, XYAB, and uh, a home and back button for Android, as well as a volume control. The button in the middle I'll get to a little bit later, and then there's a, a start button for your sort of traditional uh, uh, console gaming. The final uh, wonderful thing we've, we've added uh, is uh, these two speakers, and they look very small. But what we actually did was we designed in what's called a base reflex system. So in addition to the driver you can see here, there's actually a tube that goes down the side. And we then use an air chamber here to give really good bass response. And, and the sound you get out of, out of the unit is, is you know, up there with the jam box. So it's not that sort of tinny sound that you might be used to coming out of a mobile phone or a tablet. It's really good quality. When we move up this side, this is a 5-inch uh, 720p touch panel, and uh, you can use this just, just like normal. So this is a full touch screen with multi-touch. You know, you can pinch zoom, you can scroll web pages, whatever you like. Uh, we've also built into the OS now uh, gamepad control, so I can, I can move around and navigate and so on with the actual gamepad, even, even into widgets like you see here. So we can jump into the menu, can pick a game, you know, we can start Gmail, whatever we like. And this is standard Android, uh, it's Jelly Bean uh, 4.2 at the moment, and we're going to be keeping that uh, nicely maintained with uh, the Google releases. I mentioned before the Shield button, which is right here. So this is uh, an Android device, but it's a gaming device, and we wanted uh, Shield to have you know, two personalities. We wanted it to be able to be used to check your email or, you know, use a Play Store, watch movies, stream them to your TV, all the normal things. But then when you hit the shield button, we wanted it to go into gaming mode. So rather than skin the OS, we actually provide a, a second application that's specifically targeted to browse your games. So these are all the games that are installed on the system that I've been playing uh, recently. Uh, and then if we want to uh, go into one of these, we can just hit A, and we'll actually start the game straight from here. So it's kind of like a, a, a Shield-specific launcher. Uh, you can think of it like that. So the game we're looking at here is actually called Real Boxing. Uh, this was released uh, previously on, uh, on iOS, but the developers took it and uh, really went to town with Tegra 4. So Tegra 4 uh, provides a, a whole bunch of new functionality. Uh, in, it, in addition to more uh, CPU power, it has uh, four quad uh, A15 ARM processors. Uh, so that lets you do you know, really high resolution uh, physics simulations, particle effects that, that, that might actually collide with world objects, uh, advanced AI. So in, in this game, actually, the, the AI is pretty good. It knows how to dodge and weave. and and actually uh, grab you if it, if it thinks it's it's losing, and then on the on the graphics side we have a, a much uh, more powerful ouch a much more powerful uh, GPU. So we now have 72 uh, shader cores or uh, GPU cores, uh, whereas uh, in the Tegra 3 we only had 12. Tegra 3 graphics were still pretty amazing, but now we can do all sorts of wonderful things like uh, we can put in uh, depth of fields, motion blurs. Uh, it, you'll see when I get hit there, they actually bring in and, and do a blur effect on the screen to, to give it a bit more realism. Uh, if anyone in your audience has been hit, you, you, know, you may know what that feels like. 
Uh, the other thing, we've, we've added uh, uh, per pixel specular lighting to the, uh, to the boxes so they get that sheen uh, and as they go along they get sort of sweaty. And then uh, I think the final thing for this particular game is they added uh, deformation. So as the, the boxing match goes along, uh, you get more damage. Your, your face actually uh, shows that damage. And if we hit the uh, shield button again, we jump out of there. And uh, there's another game, Hawken, here. Uh, this uh, was recently released for PC. It's an online uh, mech first-person shooter. And we worked with the developer uh, over the holidays uh, to port the game to Android and uh, put in uh, Tegra 4 features. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing to see it running natively on, uh, on such a small device when it's come straight from a PC. So you can see here, uh, it's a mech combat game. So we have, uh, you know, we have missiles and machine guns. We also have uh, grenades and uh, shield effects as we go along a bit further. And then uh, we actually demoed this on, uh, on Sunday with uh, our CEO Jensen playing against uh, one of the developers. Uh, with two shields. So this is going to be a fully multiplayer game. Um, yeah, it's looking really cool and I uh, can't wait to see it actually uh, complete and uh, out on the platform. And again, we can either hit home here or, uh, or the, the shield button to jump back to the shield app. Then the final uh, piece of, the, of the, the gaming puzzle is actually the streaming from a PC. So we've got some technology on the PC called GeForce Experience. It looks through your uh, machine uh, and uh, looks at all the games that you've got installed, figures which you know, support controller, support streaming, and then you can actually play them now on your Shield. So if we click uh, this PC, it's actually connecting to a PC that's across the room here. You can imagine, uh, Similarly, it would be, uh, you know, you might have your, your, your gaming PC like I do. I have it in a separate room. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting on the couch with my wife and, you know, I want to play my game while she's watching some TV. I can do that now. I can just click, connect to my PC, browse through the games I have installed. Uh, so we might play Assassin's Creed, for instance. So what's happening now is the, the actual game is launching uh, on the PC. And uh, if the Wi-Fi lets us, yes, it has. Um, so now we're, what, we, what we're actually seeing is a video stream from out from the PC. So we're going to get full, you know, GTX 680 level graphics pushed across to our device, and uh, we can play it. Uh, the lag is is almost imperceptible. It's uh, we've worked very hard uh, to make sure that the latency between when the final frame is rendered on the PC uh, it's then uh, pushed through a, a high-speed video encoder and sent across the wire uh, or indeed across wireless uh, to the device and then on this side the Tegra has a high-speed video decoder and we do the opposite we, we decode the frame and put it to the screen as quickly as we can so if we press start and uh, yeah so you have uh, Full, full control of the character. We've got a save game here, uh, and as you'll see in a sec, it's it's you know it's amazingly fast. Uh, the graphics are super detailed, just like you would see on your PC. And indeed, uh, some of the games actually look better because the uh, the screen is so crisp, and uh, the the graphics just look absolutely amazing. So uh, as you can see, it's really nice and fast. Um, and I, I play just like I would, uh, just like I would on my PC. But I can do it now from my lounge room, from my bedroom, uh, anywhere around the house. So the Shield uh, does a number of things uh, locally. You can also, as I mentioned previously, there's an HDMI port, and uh, you can now output that to a big screen TV. So we, we have like a, a nice big TV up here, like you would in your in your lounge room, and uh, you know we can we can jump in, we can play a game and it's all streamed in real time up to, up to the television. 